was running late to work, and so I came in with tunnel vision, feeling overwhelmed with guilt, frustration, panic, and worry. What if I'm looked at as irresponsible, tardy, incompetent, unprofessional? I was upset that I couldn't control what was happening. I didn't want to disappoint the clients and felt like a hypocrite, like a bad person, because I wasn't on time. I have to be perfect, especially since I just started this position. All eyes on me. Came in with the tunnel vision, ensuring that I get through the first client on time, and then hopefully things will run smoothly. I continued to feel panic as I sat down with the client. Still in my head, thinking about all the eyes that might be watching me come in late. Maybe asking if, is she serious about this position? It looks bad to be running late and have a client waiting. I didn't want to disappoint my staff and I felt disappointed with myself. I had a busy day, flustered with how I was going to get through it and make up for the fact that I was late. I had to see the other clients on time. I had to get the job done, panic, Panic, panic. I have such a crazy day and this just started my day off all wrong. Focused on time, time, time. My head was spinning. I was feeling systematic pressure, feeling down on myself. I tried to pull it together as I was talking to the client, but no warmth, no attentiveness. I had barely any eye contact. As I was talking to the client, I was talking to myself, worried about the day. I started going through a checklist, fastest way to get through the questions. I needed to provide a service. The client began to answer one word answers. I started to get frustrated when she began to shut down and eventually said, I don't want to talk anymore. I'm done. Confused at first because I was so far gone. I was wondering why was she upset and what's wrong? She was removed and extremely frustrated with me. But I'm just trying to help, I thought. What's her problem, I thought. Confusion and frustration. She completely stopped talking. The client's face got really tight and she wouldn't look at me. I felt she was totally turned off by me. I felt incapable. I took it personal. My day was already going bad and it was just getting worse. I was just about to give up on the appointment as well. I felt I couldn't do anything and I was already frustrated and couldn't deal with any other attitude or issues because I got my own right now. I had to be courageous and admit I was wrong. I felt a need to be honest and open. I had to break that wall she had put up and becoming naked was the only way to do it. I had to apologize. I had to bear it all to the client so she knew how much I cared how much I make mistakes but should not have made that one. I had to let the client know that she mattered and she wasn't just a number. I felt relieved and a sense of calmness when the client agreed to start over, when she was able to accept the apology. I was able to begin my reason for coming to the center in the first place. I began to see the client. The client appeared so timid You could see the baggage, the baggage she was carrying and how it was weighing her down. She walks and sits crouched. It's hard for her to look me in the eye because she seems to be living in her own world of baggage. Her baggage is her life, so she doesn't seem to really live. She doesn't allow anyone in because she doesn't want to create more baggage. She doesn't trust anyone with her baggage. She's afraid of revealing her world to others. You can see the worry on her face and the fear of disappointment, fear of being judged, fear of getting hurt, fear of being exposed and being sent away. She doesn't use a phone. She uses a pager to control her fear, keep her baggage intact and feel some form of peace. I felt free to share the moment with the client, build a rapport, and forget about everything else around me. I had to be real with her and myself, put myself in check. Felt at ease, peace, passion for the work, and to do whatever I can for the client. Over time, the client began to remove pieces from the baggage, one by one. 
that she once wouldn't allow anyone to come close to. It began to weigh less as she started to put it all on the table. You can see her sit up more straight, smile, look me in the eye when she spoke, and hear her feeling a sense of pride, survival, importance, skills, strength, and most of all, hope. She began to teach me that it needs to be a one day at a time process. Pace yourself, take your time. She allowed me to enter in. I was able to help organize her thoughts, her footsteps, her ability to feel less weighty and more free. She has become a self advocate. She depends on my advice, but always comes with a plan. Client sees that it's important to live her life, which means taking care of herself. She is now open to other providers, allowing others to come close. To have the baggage on the table has left her open to sharing herself. She allows not only people in, but positive feedback and feelings in. You see excitement, sunny days, relaxation on her face. You see the empowerment shining through. Thank you.